Hey guys, V here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to keep your Ryzen PC idle temps as low as possible while also keeping your um, fan noise to a minimum. I'm going to go ahead and move the camera, and I'm going to zoom in on the screen there so you can see it a little better. So when I built this PC, um, when I built any PC, actually, I noticed the idle temps were always kind of fluctuating up and down. And as you'll see right now, it just kind of sits there and doesn't doesn't move. Right now it's at 39 degrees Celsius. Um, earlier it was sitting at 36, but whatever. Um, point is, it's not fluctuating like crazy until you go and do something. Then obviously, you know, if you go and refresh something, then yeah, it'll it'll hop up. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and create a balance uh, a Ryzen custom plan, as you see here. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on the balance plan and then go back to this core temp and you'll see what I'm talking about. I'll leave this on the screen for a minute while I'm talking and you can see clearly it's going down to the low 40s and then back up to the 50s or you know high 40s, stuff like that. That's the issue I was experiencing when I built any uh, 3000 series P uh, PC. So basically this will only work on, as far as I know, uh, the 3000 series CPUs. So if you got a 3600 Ryzen 5, it'll, it should work. If you got a 3700X like I have in this PC, it should work. Um, and so on and so forth. Now, I am not responsible for any damage or anything. If you screw this up, I, I, you know, I'm just here to provide you with some insight into this matter and that's about it. But, uh, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so before we do anything, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and open this link. I will put it in the uh, description down below. So first thing you're going to want to do, open this on your computer and all the step-by-step -step instructions will be on this page. Now the first step is of course installing all the AMD drivers. So you're going to want to click on the link that he has here in step one and it'll take you to this page here and basically what you're going to want to do is go to chipsets and then find your chipset which is in my case AM4 and then go down and pick your motherboard chipset so I have the B550 if you got the B450 or the 350 go with that but I got the B550 click submit and then this window will pop up here click on Windows 10 64 or whatever you have and then um, basically download that first one AMD chipset drivers and you're gonna hit download it's gonna download and then of course you're gonna open it up click yes here it's gonna go ahead and extract everything once it's done extracting this is what will pop up you go ahead and select all of these and click install I already have everything installed so I'm gonna just um, ignore this I'm gonna close it out but go ahead and click install it'll take a little while install everything and then the way you can check is go into your control panel okay so if you're in control panel go to the top right over here click on small icons and there should be a power options right here and you should see more power options here you should see AMD high performance uh, AMD balanced and then you should see the regular balance that says recommended but it's actually not recommended you're supposed to use the AMD balanced or high performance. Now that you got all your drivers installed, um, then you're gonna go ahead and go on to step two. So go ahead and into your search bar and type in CMD, right click the result, command prompt, run as administrator, click yes. And now basically what you wanna do is go ahead and again go back to this reddit page and select copy and go ahead and paste it in here and click enter and now it's going to show you all of your uh, uh, power scheme right power scheme um, I'm not dumb I'm just tired <laughs> anyways so here's my custom plan right here um, ignore that for the moment I won't be able to completely install this, but I'm going to walk you through all the steps. So what you want to make sure of 
as you can see here on the on the reddit page you have to f make sure you have this uh, scheme ID right here so this one or you can follow this one so open them up side by side and make sure you find it so it should be under the high performance one just like it is right there so high performance and uh, basically what you want to do and you can see mine is different but that's because I already have my custom one and it's using that ID but this ID right here that I'm highlighting that you see under my custom should be actually right here where this high performance one is so make sure you have that otherwise this probably won't work so what you're gonna want to do is go ahead and select and copy step three and then paste it in here click enter now this just pops up go to step four copy select and copy all of this make sure you copy all of it otherwise it won't work so then you're gonna paste it and um, then you're gonna click enter now again I'm not going to click enter because I already have it um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and X this out but once you click enter you should have it and now again when you go in here you should then see a custom plan AMD Ryzen custom if you don't see that something went wrong also if you didn't see this high performance AMD Ryzen um, under uh, CMD if you followed all the steps correctly then you probably did not install the drivers and or you don't have them installed um, now you can go install them and try this again or the other thing is if you have a let's say Ryzen 2600 this also will not work I've tried it so if you got everything right and you got this AMD Ryzen custom plan select it and then of course if you want you can go ahead and check it out um, you can download something like core temp or whatever way you monitor your um, temperature your CPU temperature this is what I use because it's fairly easy so but you can see the temperature right there going down it is now at 40 degrees Celsius that's probably because I am screen recording and doing a couple other things but um, yeah you will see you will notice a, a pretty nice jump uh, in temperature as far as idle goes now if you followed all the instructions correctly and everything worked out for you that's basically it that's all you're done with this part of it uh, you should be able to enjoy this and you'll see quite a bit of a difference especially also with noise if you don't have a custom fan um, uh, profile or anything like that so that's basically it but let's go ahead and take this a step further and I'm gonna show you how I got my PC even quieter and uh, just overall better so what I'm gonna do is go into BIOS um, the way you do this will be different on on your PC but it's gonna be very very similar so let's go ahead and click restart and for my BIOS to get it to it I believe it's F2 or F12 uh, F12 is like the boot menu and I'll show you that in a second so here's my keyboard uh, F12 and you can start clicking it there you go so now we're at the boot menu and I'm just gonna go ahead and click enter setup this is the Aorus B4, uh, B550 Pro AC this is how the BIOS is gonna look on here uh, it's gonna be different like I said so go ahead and just look up how to get to your BIOS or how to adjust your fans in your um, on your motherboard uh, so in this case either click F6 or click smart fan so here's what I did I made a custom fan profile here so the way I did this is clicked on manual right here so you normally have it set to normal which is just like this and you can see in the top corner right there uh, the fan speed and all that so here's uh, silent it's not too bad so if you wanna if you don't wanna mess with anything custom you can set it to silent and trust me it's gonna be a lot better than normal um, or you can do what I did and go to manual so 
this is this is how I did it. You have five different. Uh, again, yours might be different, but I have five different points. So these points will tell your motherboard how to control your um, CPU fan based on the temperature. So as you can see in the corner right there somewhere, it's 43 degrees Celsius and the fan is running at 2300. Now if I go back to my manual, you can see it's 42 degrees Celsius and it's running only at 1200. The noise level goes down and everything. So the way you do this, you just drag these to where you want them. So again, uh, this one is set all the way up until it reaches 60 degrees Celsius. It will stay at 29% of its speed, which apparently is 1200 RPM. Now, once it reaches 60 and goes past 60, all the way up until it gets to 74 degrees Celsius, it'll go up to 59% of its max speed. Then from 73 degrees Celsius all the way up until 79, it'll keep that same 60%. Now, once it reaches past 79 degrees Celsius, it will run at 100%. Now, if you wanna even take it a step further, you can go and start messing with your other fans. So, you can adjust these fan curves too. I didn't mess with them. Uh, actually, I did, I guess I left them on manual, but it is what it is. I just keep them fairly low. I watched how the temp went up or down and honestly there's so many fans in here. There's great airflow. I need them as low as I can possibly get them. So that's what I did and they constantly stay very, very low. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my microphone as close to the PC as possible so you can hear it. Hopefully this will be a good representation. So. Hopefully you'll be able to hear the PC and hear me if I need to talk. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and set a route. Let's fly. I'm gonna go ahead and put it externally. So I'm gonna put core temp right there so you can see. That's where I'm gonna leave the microphone. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera so you guys can see this. So as you can see, the temp usually stays right around 71 degrees, even with this uh, very graphic intensive game, um, except little spurts like you'll hear here. So hopefully you were able to hear that. But yeah, you'll get little spurts like that above and then it'll go right back down to 70 something. Well, there you have it. That's how I made my PC much quieter than it is stock. I really appreciate you guys taking the time to sit down and watch these videos supporting the channel. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments. I try to read every comment and reply if I can. With all that being said, thank you guys so much for all your support and for taking the time to watch these videos. I do really appreciate it. Uh, until next time, this is V. Peace.